So we did have the OEM pipes on before we put on these aftermarket uh, Vance and Hines. There were we had OEM pipes with uh, aftermarket slip-ons. The slip-ons did have bolts for it to be loosened, so you could take out the baffles. I'm not sure about the OEM pipes. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to cut out the baffles if you want to do this, but it should work the same way. Hopefully with um, aftermarket slip-ons, but that's just your luck. Uh, hopefully it works out for you. What's up going on guys? Today I have a 2007 Street Glide um, with an aftermarket exhaust with the Dresser Super Radius exhaust chrome. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a baffle, remo baffle removal so it's louder. This is what it sounds like. I'm going to turn on the bike right now, show you guys what it sounds like um, with the baffles in. Yes, hear it. So this is ba this is stock baffles. The baffles in. It can be louder, so that's what we're trying to do today. So yeah, we're gonna let it cool down for a little bit because it's been running and we're gonna get started on it. I'll see you guys in. So now that you have the baffles off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little lift because the suspension is lowered a little bit. As you can see right here, we have a lowering kit. So now, because you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna lift up the bike uh, so it's easier and more accessible to access all the pipes. Um, so there are some uh, you can use a flathead to get these screws out right here, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I have them placed all over here. Um, so once you remove the heat shields, you're only got to remove this one, the top and bottom one. And there should be nuts under there to get the baffles out. And after you loosen those nuts, the baffles should be able to come out. But it's going to be a little tough. But after that, I'll meet you guys there. We have the bike on the lift. It's going to make it a lot easier to access these and not having to worry about my back. So, so all you're going to want to do is unscrew all these bolts across to get this heat shield to come up and off. And once you do that, I'll see you guys in. Okay, so now that we have both of the heat shields loosened up and off, I'm going to take off the heat shields, go place them over there safe away from it, and we'll show you where the bolts are and get started. So now we got the heat shields off. As you can see, there's a certain way these go. The one with the vents and high logos is going to be on the top, and this is going to be the bottom one. And so over here, now that our exhaust is exposed, this bolt right here is going to be another one on the other side. Uh, where is it? So it's going to be right there. You want to get these two bolts. So I have my tools ready for it. Um, I forgot the size. Hold on, let's find out. So the size of them, I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah. Okay. So is four on this one so you just want to get your allen key loosen both those bolts up and i'll meet you then okay so once you have the bolts removed you can go ahead and spray some wd-40 just to loosen it up and help it come out around the edges of the baffles okay so once you have done that let it soak for a little bit you get some pliers um, it's what I did and I started going at the baffles trying to move them out get them loose and broken out so they can come out It's gonna be a little tough, but that's how it's gonna go Okay, so once your baffles are out you're gonna want to go ahead and get them in a bin or something put the bolts back in uh, Storms somewhere in your garage where you can't lose them and Check the inside of the pipes make sure there's nothing blocking the airflow So once you have your baffles out you're gonna want to keep those store them somewhere in your garage uh, Don't mind my garage. It's in the works right now but so you want to go ahead and put your heat shields back on the bike and I'll meet you when I'm done with that. Okay, so now that we have our pipes back together, heat shields on, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up, get all the fingerprints off. And there's our baffles. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, put the battle, battle saddlebags on, put the bike down and we're going to start it up and hear how it sounds. Okay, so we got the bike all back together. It's looking nice and... So one thing I'm going to say is that if I were you guys, because the baffles, it restricts the airflow, so the bike isn't used to running like that. So I would get a tuner. Um, I'll leave the link to the tuner I got. It's the Vance & Hines um, MP3 pack, I think. 
I don't know. Um, I'll correct myself on that, but now it's all back together, looking clean. Hold on. Final touch. Let's go ahead and start it up. See how she sounds. She's going to be a lot louder, um, but you, if I were you guys, I would keep these baffles because we had we already done the baffle removal on this bike. We had to put them back in to pass admissions. Living Based on living where you are, you're probably going to have to do that. We live in Texas, so that's what we had to do, but let's hear it. It's, oh, I should probably put it in neutral. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Okay, my bad. Put it in second. Alright, so this is what it sounds like now. A lot louder. She's a lot louder, a lot more violent. I'll give her a couple of reds. If you see smoke over here, that's fine, but that's gonna happen. But let's give her some reds. So yeah, it's a lot louder, uh, as you could tell. But um, so it's gonna be a lot louder. If I were you guys on the bass tune, um, go for a ride, put it on auto tune, and it'll correct everything. Make sure it's running good. Hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, that's it really. Have a nice day.